Hello friends, I am happy to be with you again. Please stay home, stay safe. Let's be more careful, as I tell you very often, in order to save ourselves. It's only for our safety and security, we stay at home. Okay, right. This will be my last video in complex sentences. I wind up with complex sentences today and I'll start with compound sentences. Okay. Right. I have given just five sentences. Uh, and uh, it started raining heavily while we were in the mall. So we have seen uh, uh, many almost uh, uh, important uh, coordinating conjunctions. Uh, that is, sorry, subordinating conjunctions. Uh, uh, such as when, before, after, whenever, wherever, if, since, as, uh, many uh, subordinating conjunctions. Uh, let's see some more here. Uh, it started raining heavily while we were in the mall. And this part, you know, the first class, you know, is the main class. It started raining heavily, that is, uh, while we were in the mall, or when we were in the mall, uh, you can say, uh, in uh, both ways. So this is main class, this is subordinate class. After we finished eating, we resumed our work. After we finished eating, we resumed our work. Very simple. We resumed our work. That's the main class. When? After we finished eating. So main class coming next. That is here, you know, in this sentence, as the first part of the sentence, it comes, main class. So, we put a uh, comma here. Here, you know, we put a comma. So, before he left, he forgot to lock the door. What's the main idea? He forgot to lock the door, main class. Before he left, before he left. When did it happen? Before he left. That is, he forgot to lock the door. In simple sentences, one class we say, but you know, we add word, words, phrases uh, uh, to give additional information. Here, you know, we use subordinate classes uh, to give additional information. Uh, that is, uh, the, the, it, uh, the, uh, the subordinate classes show, that is the main, uh, show very effectively uh, the relationship. I have given uh, finally, that is uh, every uh, that is uh, that is very effectively indicate the classes you know very effectively uh, indicate uh, and sp specifically you know uh, that is uh, uh, tell us the relationship between parts of uh, uh, that is uh, sentences parts of sentences two parts are there sometimes you know I have given three parts also here sometimes more than uh, one subordinate class one or two subordinate classes can be used in a sentence so the relationship between the classes are parts of the sentence effectively expressed in complex sentences so after we finished eating we resumed our work before he left he forgot to lock the door when we reached their place, we learned that his marriage was postponed. So, two subordinate classes. When we reached the time indicator, when we reached their place, what happened? We learned what that his marriage was postponed. So, this is how you can use more than one subordinate classes. That is additional details you can give. So, specific. See the specific relationship between parts of a sentence. A sentence. Three parts here. One subordinate class, another subordinate class and main class. Right. Some of the studies showed positive results. Whereas, others do not. Some of the studies showed positive results, whereas others do not. Whereas means while, while others do not. So, this is main class. Some of the studies showed positive results, main class. And that is comparatively, you know, other studies do not. While others do not means other studies do not. Okay. So, I have given finally. It is all complex sentences. That is, what is the relationship between the classes, subordinate classes and the main classes? That is, the relationship between parts of the sentence is indicated very clearly, specifically. 
So, uh, using simple sentences, using complex sentences, uh, you can express your ideas, feelings, uh, opinions uh, very effectively. So, let us uh, start with com compound sentences uh, from the next video. <coughs> so, I'll say bye to you now. Uh, please support, uh, subscribe. Uh, I'll say bye. Thank you.